Into our top story tonight, while the largest dam removal project in history aims to restore the Klamath River, experts say it will also have a positive impact on the rest of the Klamath Basin. Newswatch 12's McKenna Marks gives us a bird's eye view of the basin and has the latest on those environmental impacts. That the river uh, will never go back to what it was prior to the dams being built. And rivers, even when you do restoration, don't go back to what they were prior to being um, impacted by humans uh, or manipulated by humans. The largest dam removal project in history is already underway on the Klamath River. While the project aims to bring back the salmon population to the Klamath River, it turns out this project is also the first step in restoring the entire Klamath Basin. Kingsley Ground Centurion 6094 Bravo is coming out of the FBO with uh, India for another north-northwest departure. The dams are all downstream of the Upper Klamath Basin, which is what we flew over today. By removing the dams, experts say there will be added benefits to the water upstream and downstream. We are responsible for restoring the reservoir footprints and other uh, impacted areas associated with the construction portion of the dam removal. Kaufman's team is here to make sure the river and the surrounding environment flourish during the dam removal process and once the dams are gone. Copco 2 will be the first of those four dams to be removed and is scheduled to be out of the river by the end of this summer. Today we're taking a ride in that plane behind me for a better look of the upper Klamath Basin. And we're hearing from experts about how the dam removal project impacts the river's surrounding environment. Dam removal down low will certainly have the, the biggest beneficial impact to the receiving waters downstream of I-5 or the I-5 corridor down to the Pacific Ocean. The first of those four dams will be removed by the end of the summer and the rest of the dams will be gone by the end of next year. Reporting in Klamath Falls, McKenna Marks, Newswatch 12.